Hello viewers. Welcome to the second part of the Typing Tutor tutorial. In this part we will enhance the application we developed in the first part. And we will also program Game Initialize Panel. The first thing we will do is to design our Initialize Panel. On your screen you will find controls and their properties. So just pause the video and design the panel. Now our interface is ready. We will make some changes. Select first the Start button and set Enabled Property to False. We will now enable the Start button when the user clicks Initialize button in the Initialize panel. Now connect the Initialize button to the program. Here we will enable the Start button. Clear the list box items and reset all the variable values to zero. Now in the Start Button event method we will disable the Start button as it clicks. As soon as user starts the game, the Start button becomes deactivated. This is because if we don't want user breaks the game in the middle. Another thing we will do here is to disable the initialize panel so that user cannot initialize new games while the game is running. And when the game is over the initialize panel becomes activated. Now run the program and check if everything is working well. Everything is working fine. I think this status strip is not looking good. We can fill it with initial values. Let's do it. Create a form load event. Copy and paste this line of code in the form load and run the program. Now it looks fine and it is time to code the radio buttons and some logic. We will first program radio buttons related to letters. Under the form load event we will manually check the capital letters and the beginner speed radio button. We will write. This is because when the user runs the program these two radio buttons are already checked. And we don't need to write an extra if statement to see if the user has checked the radio buttons or not before initializing the game. Run the program. Here you see both the buttons are checked as you start the program. Now we will program capital letters radio button. Declare first two more variables. These variables will hold the ASCII range of upper and lower case letters depend on which radio button is checked. In the random next method replace range values with variables. Now under the initialize button we will control which radio button is actually checked. If capital letters radio button is checked then we will assign ASCII range of capital letters to our variables. That is from 65 to 90.
Similarly if small letters radio button is checked then we will assign ASCII range of small letters to our variables. That is from 97 to 122. Let's run the program and check if it is working. For mixed case letters I have found a different logic. Let first take a boolean variable named mix and initialize it with initial value that is false. Now using the same way check if the mix letters radio button is checked. If button is checked so set the mix variable to true. Now here we need to make some modifications. We will say if mix is not true then do as it is and perform same operation. This code is actually the same as before until you do not check the mix letter radio button. Now we will write another if statement to see if the mix variable is set to true. If the mix variable is set to true then we will come inside this if statement. Coming inside here also means user checked the mix letters radio button. Here we will choose lower and upper case letters randomly. We can make our selection random by writing this code. Declare first a random variable. Now in an if statement we will say If modulus 2 of randomly chosen number between 1 to 10 is equal to 0 Then choose uppercase letter Otherwise choose lowercase letters I hope this logic will work. Don't forget to reset the mix variable to false when the game is over. Let's run and test the program. program is working great. Now we will program speed radio buttons. Programming speed radio buttons is simple. We will just check which radio button is checked and then adjust the timer interval accordingly. Let's write the code for speed radio buttons.
now our game is ready. Run and test all the option. Our typing tutor game is working without any problem. I hope you like both the tutorials. Thanks for watching.